tonight I wanted to show you one of my all-time favorite exercises and it's actually something for many of you who know my mare Summersby this was one of her top three probably this is a magic exercise to develop a little bit more swing in your trot and to sort of unlock something very interesting to the pelvis the low back the hips you know kind of everything in the pelvis really gets you know really yeah unlocked in this exercise so the exercise is in the trot and we're going to do it first in like a normal trot then we'll show it in a little bit of a school trot just so you guys can also start to integrate some of these interesting tempos as well as exercises so the exercise goes i'm going to come up the i'm going to come up the center line so when i will start it down there from a so i'll be doing a tour do it's a half pass to e or b depending on what direction I'm going so I don't want to change my bend when I come up the center line I'm gonna half pass to B because I'm gonna first do it to the right and then B to R to S to E I'm going to run there and then when I get over to E I'm gonna straighten out and go a little bit more forward you'll watch and I haven't really worn Montana up too much so you'll definitely be able to see how through the exercise he starts to really find his swing and a little bit more expression through the trot and we're going to play around with some different tempos and some different frames so you guys can play around with that a little bit at home so i'm first just going to get into a normal trot i was going to do a circle here just to see if i can get him around and on my aids and with me and concentrating and again, just a regular collected trot, thinking about the bending, thinking about the hind legs coming up underneath my seat bones. And again, we're gonna come up that center line and just half pass to E or B. So I half halt, I half halt, center line, find my line, shoulder four, I look at out, <laughs> I look at B. I half pass over to B, keeping my tempo. And then, I, and then I ask those shoulders to not go all the way to the track. And then I continue this run there around this half 20 meter circle. This is where the magic happens. Montana's like, whew, what are we doing? Keeping my outside leg long and down and I straighten out and I let him swing a little bit. You can see how he starts to really find a nice bounce to that. Yeah. 